Hello everybody, this is uh, Rusty at Possum Bayou. I made a little bit of a video here just to show, I mentioned a little bit of stuff. I was weathering the uh, Walther's modern power plant and end scale. I had put it together previously when I, about four years ago when I was living in La Mesa, California. And also to that same day, I weathered another kit that I had that I think I started about the same time. The first kit, like I was saying, is basically was painted. I painted it using Model Masters aluminum. That was after I had primed it with a gray primer and I painted it with that. And then I done, then I, then I put a clear coat gloss over it and then I've done various washes on it. Not necessarily washes, but I've done a pin wash and a dot fade technique and just layer it up every time I was doing that. And it turned out pretty good. I'll just show you how, when I was doing some of this, and I'll have pictures at the end of when I was finished. And then the next building is I believe the Red Wing factory that it comes from Walther's as well. I had put it together back in the day, in a few uh, a while back and I had finished putting it together yesterday and I weathered it, but the weathering on it was strictly dry brushed. Everything was dry brushed on it. I used the paint that I used to paint it. I used the same testers gray primer. I don't know why I forgot the word primer. And then over that, I put a Rust-Oleum light brown camouflage, I have a camouflage coloring. And that seemed to work pretty good. But you have to watch using some of those Rust-Oleum paints, give you a little dab and put it on your plastic because they, it's possible that you may have some of those paints may not be quite as compatible with plastic as you, we would like. Then I'm gonna show how I kind of done those. I got the, the, the power plant I got a lot more video of on than I do the other. I just was basically just getting involved in doing the painting instead of just doing the video at, at the same time. Of course, the <clears throat> second building I did, I also put fire skate and some other details on it and all that that took time too. And since I keep this thing kind of G-rated, putting together an N-scale fire skate is not going to happen that way. Anyway, I'm going to just run the video. Pretty simple. Enjoy. All right, here's what a little bit I did this morning. Looks pretty good to use some of these. This color here, bird on. Is that a burn umber? yellow ochre, and some black. That's why I got the straightest dabbed on. A little brush right under there. Now I'm trying something different. I hadn't done this yet. It was sort of what I did over there. But let's see what we get here. Get a little bit of that turpentine out of my brush. Not turpentine, but turpenoid. Okay. A little bit of pen wash like on the corners, just a little bit more than I want in some areas. You can get upwards there. Do a little bit here. A little on that side here. Go.
flat right now. I'm going to get as much. too much paint on the corner that's a little bit too stiff a little too dry yeah give me that now at first spray painted this with a little bit of uh, gloss clear to a brush that way there we go got a little bit of dirtiness on this side here so now when I do the other side here I'm gonna do on this side I'm gonna give this brown burnt umber and yellow ochre here a touch of black just kind of paint under this I got a little bit of stuff there a bit of it under there It's a spot here too. Under there. with it make it a little darker if I that old edge there gonna do a little bit of that well, the corner won't have too much spots on there I'm actually going to have something here that part of the building is going to be right in there let's go here one of those small spots A little bit of that with this toothpick. Like that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and trick it here shortly. Make sure I don't have any of that thinner in here. It's a little terpenoid. I'm going to slightly. Draw down with this. Mm -hmm. Dirty spots. And there we go. Got some streaks on this whole industrial building. It's a power plant, so it's a little bit of rain on it. Okay, well, I'll turn around and do some on the other side. I had to put some more spots on here.
think I need a little bit more touches of brown in this. It vermilion's a little bit too red. See what we can do. Okay, let's get this with a little bit of. Little bit of that. You need a little bit of more work to that. May wipe some of that off. That's the thing about this old base stuff. It takes a little bit of time to dry completely. Alright, we'll do another side here in a minute, but more we'll, I don't really like the way that kind of looks, but got a little bit more red to it, and it's a little bit too much right over here with this area here. So let me try that again. I'd clean this area up here with turpinoid on a paper towel. Yeah. That vermilion goes a long way. I get those streaks at the top is just bad pain in here. I said I had I got gloss paint over the top of this, clear gloss. Yesterday I put a wash over the whole thing. Then I come back and sprayed it with clear gloss so I could kind of do this. These little spots like that just doesn't take much. I make a little bit of something with a dry brush. I'm gonna have to connect that streak there a little more. This corner, a little bit more at that corner, and we'll let her dry for a minute, then we'll come back. Okay, let's run a few streaks down on this. That black's a bit much. Just feathering on down. Let me get my dry, dry brush here. There we go. That looks a little better. Knock that down a little bit more. There you go. That looks good. Good deal. All right. I think that's all I kind of got for here. I'll do a little more of this thing on the top. Side here. All you got to do is put these little drops of the little spots of paint. 
like right under that little ledge there, that trim work, or just spot it around. And basically, I'm just running it down and under the windows here, just to give a little bit of some water effects running down. Here's just right here. This side here's just pretty much got a wash. I may put some more stuff on it. And here's another effect from this side here. That's why I just started. Let's put some little different colors of this. All the names I got from the art supply store. And there's some more grunge here on this side. So that's kind of how I do do this stuff. It's just a little haphazard, put the paint on there. Now I can do a little touch-up work and put some clear gloss, not not gloss, but uh, flat on there, just finish it up. All right, that's the end of that. This next section of the video is going to be the Red Wing Factory Authors is in scale. Because remember, every I used all dry brushing and I used old base paint from the craft store or art supply store. It's basically art supplies, old base paint, and I used odorless minerals, <clears throat> an odorless mineral spirits to, 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 to thin it down if I need to and to clean my brushes and I also use some turpinoid in there as well. Just enjoy. I'm going to continue on with this. This is just how I'm doing this. It's just to lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to get it down a little bit off. I'll do this one little section. It won't have to take too long. It's a little harder to do one handed, but it gets there. That's a white paint, artist paint. Let the brush a little bit with some thinner. The basic thing is to smooth it out to get it a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more contrast and a little. Things there and other. It's not the part getting perfect paint over the whole thing. It's a if it looks blotchy, it looks like more of an older weathered factory building. Main thing I'm trying to do is get a little bit lighter, get a little bit more like concrete at this point than the little bit darker color that it was. It's a lighter color than it was. I don't know why I would want it to like just plain concrete, but they could have painted it. But right now, yeah, just do a little. So I'm doing a little like dry brushing with a little bit more paint on it than you normally would with a dry brush. You just to get it kind of. You can see it's not like really. It's like I'm painting it, but I'm not painting it. This is an old brush that I had. Cheap brush to begin with. This. I get a little paint. But that's pretty much how I obtained this little bit of a look here. So I'm getting like I put some different colors, a little bit on the door. It's had a little bit of a wash, like I said. And look at this side here, too. That's been down. There we go. Basically, what I'm doing is just, that's just dry brushing this stuff on. A little bit different technique than I did on the power plant, but it's working for this. All right, well, I hope you got something out of this little video. It's been a couple of days since I started. You can tell I got a different color shirt on. I'm on. I come up with a technique for something for some more lines and some bricks is a little different than I've used just by playing with this. So just look at this and see what little bit I did and maybe it'll give you some ideas. All right, until the next video, see you.